welcome to D-Lab. In this video, we are going to change the meter in a Globe Chief Deluxe CW transmitter. The current meter is erratic. It overshoots and undershoots, as with all of the Globe Chief transmitters. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? So it irritates me, all right? I know that it affects the authenticity of the transmitter, but why have a meter that you can't even use? And when you're transmitting, all you hear is that meter going bang, 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 bang. Let me show you what this thing does. And then let me show you the solution I came up with. So here's the Globe Chief Deluxe with the stock 0 to 300 milliamp meter, okay? This is the same type meter that they use in the Globe Chief 90s, okay, or the 90As. You'll see the same meter. And this meter reminds me of what I would see in a battery charger, right? So in a battery charger, you pull a constant current, and then, you know, it eventually charges and it makes its way back down. But not this meter. This meter is an active meter, right? So here we go. I'm in operate position. Now I'm going to hit this. I'm just hitting my key. Look at that meter. Does that mean anything to you? Now, if I were to hold it after it settles down, I can tune the plate. So for that purpose, it's okay. But when you're transmitting, listen to that. It's like you're on a telegraph set working for the railroad, all right? So it's absolutely useless. So what my plan is, is change that meter. Let me show you what I'm going to change it with. Here's the replacement. A beautiful Westinghouse 0 to 300 milliamp meter, direct, no shunt required. So this thing will drop right into the place of this square meter. Now luckily, this square meter has a round hole with a mounting flange behind. I'll show you that. So this meter will drop right in. The only thing I'll have to add are the three mounting holes for the face. Let me show you the back side of this meter and how easy this process will be. Our mission to change out this 0 to 300 milliamp meter with the new Westinghouse one, right? So if you look behind, you'll see it is a round meter and all it holds it is this little U-shaped bracket. And the lugs that actually mount it are also the lugs that the signal goes through to deflect the meter, right? So it's going to be a fairly simple process. I'm just going to remove the bracket, pull the meter out, we'll re-drill and put the new meter in. All right, so the first nut came off easy, but this one over here has a fair bit of corrosion on it. So it's going to take a little more time to get him off. But eventually, I'll get this jobber out of here, and then we'll check the hole size. I already took a pair of calipers and checked the hole, and it appears as though this meter is a little bit smaller in diameter than the one that I'm replacing. So I may have to round it out a little bit, but that's no big deal because I have a Dremel tool and you can do anything with a Dremel tool. Here she comes. Old meter is removed. You can see where she was. I didn't realize this, but their paint didn't actually go all the way around that meter. So I'm hoping that when I put in the new one, it covers that up. Otherwise, I may have to do a little touch-up to make it look good. Well, as I suspected, the hole is too small. Not bad. Looks like I'll have to shave off maybe a sixteenth of an inch for it to drop in. But it is definitely too small in diameter for the new meter. So, time for the Dremel tool. Well, here's a Dremel tool with a grinding bit. I'm not going to show this in the video because it's just obnoxious, right? So I'll get this rounded out, get the meter to fit, and we'll come back to it. 
All right, there's a new meter in place. Still need to turn it, get it all centered up, drill the holes, throw some screws in there. Bush looks pretty good. You can see all my aluminum dust from having to round her out, but it wasn't too bad. It took about 15 minutes. Anyway, let's get the holes drilled and get this thing hooked up and give it another test. So there's the old meter. Got the new one installed. We're powered up. Wiring's in place, ready to test. So let's go to operate, hit the key. Look how smooth that is. Now if I were to send some code. Nice and smooth, guys. That's what they should have done when they redesigned the Globe Chief Deluxe. So the Globe Chief Deluxe now has the well-deserved meter to match its new cool styling. Okay, I wish they did this a long time ago. The reason I did this upgrade was not to destroy the historical value of this radio. It was to preserve it. Because now, when somebody runs this transmitter and they have this nice, smooth meter, rather than old Bam Bam, they're going to run it and they're gonna enjoy it and probably keep it rather than sending it down the road because they're tired of putting up with this. So that's what D-Lab does. I'm trying to keep this old gear running and I'm trying to keep you guys interested and if you're not in the hobby, I want you in it. We'll see you again in 6TLU here at D-Lab.